Alright, what's up guys? Uh, this is Sue. I'm going to be doing a demo review for my boy Presto. Give him some content on his beautiful YouTube channel. Uh, I believe this is Wiz. I have not ran through these demos at all. Uh, Wiz is playing for a team called like Penguins of Madagascar, something like that, in the upcoming, well, the current Quarantine Cup 2020. Uh, I like the concept of these demo reviews. Thought I'd throw one in. Uh, Wiz, you know, he's my friend. Thought I'd give him some tips and tricks for his match. Uh, probably the time that this, I mean, this definitely looks like Haunted Forest. Probably by the time that this t uh, recording comes out onto YouTube, uh, you probably would have played your match already. But there's still some useful tips and tricks I could try to give you guys as both individual plays and also as a team perspective to help you improve on your team's gameplay in future matches. So. Let's take a look. Looks like the survivors are going to stick right here. Um, I think the call to leave the car was questionable, but... Okay, well... Okay, this support's interesting. This smoker just happened to work out here. I'm actually surprised this smoker work and one of the Uzi plays didn't just like straight up pick you. But, you know, I mean, it worked this time, but this is definitely not the right play because you've dropped down. You have, if you just went around that invisible wall and climbed the ladder to the other side of that wall, you would have a very, very much easier pull with very less risk from the top of the ledge. You've dropped down here, which is already the, given them the, you know, enough notification that you are a smoker in the front. And you've also put yourself in a horrible position where you're very easy to shoot. Um... It worked out this time, but yeah, you definitely want to try pull from safer spots where it's much harder for the survivors to clear you slash, you know, kill you. So Tank did what he could there. Um, I think the call to leave the car was definitely not good. The survivors are pretty much like... You know, they'll spread out, they're already set up, so it's pretty obvious that they were going to stay here. I think, you know, the car wasn't even very far. That he could have got it in in like two or three punches. I don't think it was the play to leave it, but... You know, that that's something you kind of have to judge for yourself as a tank. Um, whether you need to leave the car or not. That's big right there, that boomer pop you got is insane. So even though you did get boomed, you managed to kill the boomer, which means he's not just going to sit there and continuously boom you guys. You can pretty much push up as soon as the majority of hordes cleared. Uh, you definitely want to be pushing up, hopefully before that hit comes in, which has already come in. And uh, I don't know if you're ready for that. Okay, that's a big no-no. So... What's happened is your third position player, I'm not quite sure how you guys are positioned because you were kind of like the second player there and then you moved to the third. Um, I think that's a bit of a positional error because what's happened now is three of you have come up the ladder and one guy is left down there and if they had a spawn like a jockey or something, they might have even had that, I'm not sure. That player is now by himself. If he gets jockey, he's going to get taken back all the way to the safe room and you've all left him. You've got to almost think about this game as sets of two. Okay, you got two players in the front and two players at the back. The two players at the back have to watch each other. The two players in the front have to watch each other. That's that's like almost like the the rawness of the game. Like when it comes down to it, two players at the back watch each other all the time and all three of you have kind of just panic rushed up because I see that's just a positional error right there. And now he's left back down there by himself. And if he gets capped, he's going to take a lot of damage. So make sure that you, you know, if, if possible, you could establish positions. And always stay in groups of two at, at, at least. Especially during these chokes. Always stay in groups of two. Okay, so tanks up. And, you know, obviously you've just pushed out. There's a lot of common. Uh, there is an Uzi right there. How you establish whether you should be playing Uzi or Shotgun or 2 Uzi, 2 Shotgun or whatever for a tank is very dependent on A, the area where the tank is and B, what kind of Uzi it is. 
So for instance, this is a very open area, which means that um, an Uzi is definitely good to take. Whether you stab, whether if you have a choice between two Uzis, I'll definitely go with a, a regular Uzi instead of the Suzy in this case because the regular Uzi has range and because of how open this area is you, you can definitely try to keep as much distance as you can to shoot tank because of how open it is which means that the Uzi is going to be a lot better the Suzy is much better for close range scenarios like in a room or down the hallway something like that um, Another pet peeve of me is as soon as you hear a smoker or something in a proper match environment that you could be going into, you don't want to just instantly pull out your melee you're, because you're in a team game and you should have the faith that your team will cover you from a pull, will clear you from the pull if you get pulled. Instead, you sh especially as an Uzi player, you should be keeping your eyes out for the tank rock, chipping tank, and watching for boomers and as you saw there you weren't really aware of where the spawns were and that cost you basically getting boomed and that's gonna slow your team down create some panic and potentially cost you you know more HP down the line here as the horde comes in we'll see This tank looks like he's just playing like rock. Not too bothered about how much chip he's taking. He just wants to play this out. Kind of kind of slimy from pop stars to do that, but I guess, you know, if you're playing against Asians in a match, this is you got you gotta learn the hard way, you know, that how to deal with a, a rock tank. Tank is now committing and that's a very good boomer pop, a very essential boomer pop, but this is bad because you've now completely separated yourself from your team and you're pounced and you've also given him a free corner now and basically a free in-cap. Coach gets clear. It's good, you're putting pressure on the tank. Not the uh, not the cleanest tank fight I've ever seen, but you know. Popstar is a very established team and you know you guys are relatively new probably not familiar with the map so uh, you know that's not a horrible take I, that could have gone a lot worse for sure so this tank is pretty linear uh, there's not really much to say on how to play it just oh that was, was that a four rook that was nice uh, just try, you know, take the best path you can. Try to take as little chip on the way in. It's, I mean, it's pretty inevitable you're going to get chipped. And, uh, yeah, just do your best. Try secure a corner. That is a beautiful two boom. Maybe even a commit boom. Looks like that's what he's doing. The early pull was way too early there. Definitely could have waited at least a little bit. And now you're down to already one support because of that. With the punch on Spongy. Horde is really not helping you. Okay, secures the corner of Spongy. He's two punch, but you're dead. In my opinion right there, I don't think there's much you could have done. Um, I think, you know, your commit path was good. I think your support kind of sucked there. You know, Pubstar did a very good job of just shooting the shit out of you. Uh, your charger, I don't believe, landed. Your smoker pretty much went way too early and sacked you. I think your support just wasn't quite there, even though you had a very beautiful two boom. Um, also, maybe, I guess one point I could say is maybe waiting, you know, two or three seconds, at least for him to get out, of, like, fully out of that death time before committing. I mean, a two boom is going to give you a lot of horde regardless. Sacrificing some of that horde so your, you know, your third guy, the boomer, might even get another spawn during your commit is pretty big, but I think that just came down to your team sacking Good. you really cool they clearing the common in front it's just a one boom so it shouldn't be too much horde back round back by himself i hope you know he typed that or something in chat wasn't paying tank is in chucking a rock good clear on the hunter 
You're shooting tank a lot, that's what I like to see from my boy Wiz with Uzi. Beautiful M2. Sadly, you do get caught by a charger, but... You did a pretty good job so far. That is sadly going to be a corner. Your team... Nice juke on the tank, actually. Really well done. That is probably the best I've seen you play so far from these demos. You cleared the hunter. You m 2 the jockey for your teammate to kill. You shot tank, you know, 30%. You know, almost 2k damage right there. You shot tank. Alright, we got a second tank in the hands of my boy Wiz. Spongy's pushing up very aggressively. Now, the trick with this tank is... Try to split them up as much as you can for your support because it's very wide open. There's logstone in cap. This is actually a very good opportunity. They're extremely split. And this, this is the wrong play. In my opinion, Spongy and who was that? Brian, wrist burner. They're in the open area, which means doubling back into them is really bad for you because they can continuously run through the open whereas if you push the other two inside they're gonna eventually hit a wall or like a barrier and you'll you're gonna be guaranteed a corner and then spongy and brian will push in behind you and your support can catch them because if they don't push in behind you into the closed in space then they aren't shooting tank and they screwed over their team so you definitely want to be Assessing which direction you want to be pushing. Okay, Soul and the other guy, you know, they're inside. I know if I keep pushing them, they're eventually going to hit a wall. Whereas if I push Spongy and Brian, they have pre pretty much an endless open space that they can kite me, so I'm not going to get anything. So, yeah, for future reference, that's just something that with a bit of experience and I guess you could say just instinct, you'll kind of know who you want to be pushing. Uh, but we'll see what you can do with this. Anyway, good punch onto Spongy. Lock coming flying in, almost catches Brian. That one almost catches Brian too. Brian's pretty separated, but because you've decided to push Brian and Spongy, you've given the other two the opportunity to push out, and yeah, that's going to be the end of your tank. Support was very staggered. Yeah, that blows. I mean, the support was completely staggered. You pushed the wrong players, but at least now you know what to do for next time. All right, so... This tank is on a timer, so you definitely want to be holding W on this tank. Yeah, like it's already spawned. Walk it came in. I don't know if that was a demo or what. It looked like it went straight through you, but whatever. Maybe maybe because he turned bot, I'm not sure. So, Adam's pushed up for that early chip that the rest of you guys can get, which is good. That early chip will going to help you out much later. Tank's really struggling with his log. He's in the tree pretty well there. Good juke on the tank. Looks like Vac is ledged. But the tank doesn't have any more support. Charger missed, so... Ellis should push up and just be shooting this tank with you. That was a bit of a misplay. I think you got a bit aggressive there. The tank baited you in thinking... Making you think he was going around the corner. Turned around, got that extra punch on you. Kinda just need that instinct knowing... Just keeping your distance. You have an Uzi. You don't need to be like in the tank's face. You know, just keep your distance. That way, if he does turn around, you're ready to dodge that punch. Very nice juke early on the on the tank there. Uh, so um, overall, I'm actually pretty impressed with how your team played. I think you know the caliber of Pubstar and how new of a team you guys are. I think you guys did pretty well. If I just had to say anything i'd say work on your positioning as a team and also keep up the good work with the clears just focusing clears make sure you're near your team even if you eat it you know your team can clear it but generally you guys you know i'm pretty impressed how you guys played i uh, hope these tips helped you good luck hope these tips help anyone who watched the video uh good luck to your team in the match whether it's happened bef whether it happens before this video goes up or not good luck and uh See you guys later. Peace.